I have never been so insulted in all my life. I need to get something off my chest. First of all, I said I came to you guys. I feel like you came to my house, you came to New York City, and you didn't meet any of my friends. You know, you met my mother one time. You know, I came to you early in the morning. I was like, you know, what, what we're gonna do is we'll work on a book for a couple of hours, you know, go down to rehearse to meet my friends, hang out in the village because y'all three had never been in the city before. My friend Keisha rearranged her whole schedule. You know, she broke her neck to get back downtown because she thought she was gonna meet you guys, you know? And No, you said I'm out of here. And then you got up and because I was like, well, we were done with our sections, Ronnie. We can't because, leave no, the book. No, but then I'm paging you. I'm like, I paged you, you know, what are you doing? Where are you at? Still the working on the bus. Still working on the bus. But the book could have came with us. A we book. felt totally we were, ditched. We were I mean, a little bit, no. I was at least a little bit upset that you just like left. And we were, were like, all mad. I it's a mission. Like, we felt like it's a I, mission. No, you take it see, seriously and you take it. We're in a mission in New York. Why didn't you tell her to meet us at the hospital? Because I didn't want, because I felt like, I felt like, no, no, no. Right. It's not about just missions. I'm and if not you're talking just about that. missions, then you're wrong. Road rules is about the mission, but it's also about trying to get it along right. and learn about each other. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the only thing you know about me is I live with my mother and I'm in a dance company. Now, we're in New York City. You already met my mother, so there's only one other thing you really don't know about me, and I'm giving you the opportunity to come meet them all, you know? Honey, um, I did not feel comfortable around you the whole time in New York. I felt like, you know, like, it's kind of like you have to, like, babysit us and, like, okay, well, do you guys want to do this? Do you want to do this? Like, like, the whole time you were bugged with us. So I came in this morning, I was like, you guys, I want you to Keisha, this is the plans, you know, let's work on the book or whatever. It was like no one even had the energy just to get moving. You know, this whole trip, everyone acts like, you know, just so pretentious. You know, you act like you want to know people, and you had you no, know, none of you had any kind of energy or effort into meeting them. And I feel right now, all y'all, that's how I feel. The rest of this trip, I have basically erased each and every one of you from my mind, my heart, and my soul because I felt like you're pretentious. You're fake. You act like you want to know who I am, what I'm about, and you don't page me on do to say, oh, are we, can, can, when are we going to meet Keisha? I hope you're feeling happy now. I see you feel the pain out of the tears. I hope you're feeling happy. Ronnie, I you think know, you're right. I think that we didn't put the effort forward, and I think that we were in that way. And I apologize for it. I really do. I think I've shown you how much I really care about you all summer, and I dropped the ball this time, and I was really wrong, and I'm really sorry. But I mean, that's all there is to it. I was, we're all, we're just wrong. I you're feeling happy now. I just think that, uh, that Ronnie's completely right to feel like she feels because the group kind of shafted her. You know, maybe they have some kind of exclusive click thing going on now.